What is up, guys? We are back with episode two of our Leaf Green Nuzlocke challenge. And we'll just get right into the game real quick. Let me just make sure we're recording. And it looks like everything is good. And we'll just get through all this garbage quick. All right, so here we go. Uh, last time we defeated the rival, we got our Pidgey Gloria up to 7 and Burns, our Charmander, up to 10. Um, what I'm going to do is I did a little bit of homework now. So I know that in this generation, uh, Butterfree learns Confusion right away at 10. So we're going to grind our boy George up to 10 so that way we can get the Confusion. Um, that should be just about enough for us to take down Brock, but we're definitely going to use Pidgey's uh, Sand Attack first to really lower it down. Uh, Judude should not be too much of a problem. I'm estimating that Charmander should be able to take him out alone, but worst case scenario, again, we'll just Sand Attack until it's down. Alright, come on, George. And a friend of mine did tell me that I should go over the rules of the Nuzlocke. So for those of you who don't know, uh, with the Nuzlocke challenge, you're only allowed to catch the first Pokemon that you encounter per route. Um, if it, you know, faints or you fail to catch it and run out of Pokeballs or something, uh, that is, you're not able to catch another Pokemon for that route. That's why I didn't go back to routes 1 or I believe it's 22 where I knocked out the two Rattatas. Is it's against the rules to get those. Now, also, along with that, is if any of my Pokemon are too faint throughout this challenge, uh, they're considered dead and have to be deposited into the box and are not usable for the rest of the game. Now, in the event that I run out of all of my Pokemon, my Nuzlocke ends. If it ends too quickly, I will restart and just pick up where right from the start and keep going. Um, other than that, I don't believe there, there's anything that I'm missing Ooh, a Metapod. Um, otherwise, if I run into a Pokemon, so say because I have Pidgey, if I run into a Pidgey later on in the game, and that's my encounter for the route, I am able to re-encounter using the Species Clause. Um, also, if I run into a Shiny, I am able to catch them due to the Shiny Clause. So other than that, that should be all of the rules now. Ooh, there's a crit. So taking out this Metapod should definitely help George level up a little bit. Alright, should be just two more hits, I hope. Yep, two more hits. Okay. And that Metapod is down. Ooh, so close to six. This will get us there, though. <clears throat> and I just realized I ran out of my beverage. Ooh, level seven. So, fingers crossed that we don't get poisoned, because I think I'm too far away from the... The Poké Center. I'd have to burn up a potion or two just to get there. Ooh. All right, not looking good for my boy George here. So we're gonna go ahead and do the switch. Thank Arceus we didn't get poisoned there. That would have been horrible. Alright, sweet. George is level 6 now. I think we're going to just switch train through this one too. I think his last one is a Kakuna. I think. Oh. 
And if it's a Kakuna, George can take that on a loan. But if it's another Weedle, we're going to definitely do the switch then. Alright, no chance of poison with that, so that's good. I know there's an antidote somewhere in this forest. So as soon as I get that, I'll be a lot less worried about the poison. Alright, so down goes Weedle. Sweet, and there's the Kakuna. I don't think the Kakuna has any attacking moves, so this should be easy. Just going to take a while. Because, of course, Caterpie is blind as well. Oh boy, and we're low on tackle. Come on, crit right here. Dang it. Yeah, go George. All right, one more attack and we'll have the Kakuna down. And hopefully this will be enough to get us to seven so we can get our metapod. Oh yeah, way more than enough. All right. All right, and there is our metapod. Awesome. So there it is, our first evolution of the Nuzlocke. Uh, I don't know if there's an item down here. There's not. Okay. There's an item right here, though. Hey, there's that antidote that we went, we wanted. Alright, and I think there's another trainer up top here. Aha! I do remember this game. Alright. We might be able to take it out with seven tackles. And then it's going to be back to switch training with Charmander. Come on. Get him with this last one. This is all we need. Dang it. All right, well, that's our last tackle, so we'll go to Gloria. Try and level up Pidgey a little more, too. Oh, what? We're outsped? And we miss. Wow. Alright, and I know Glory learns Gust at level 9. Alright, 
Level 8 Caterpie. We're not going to risk it. We're going to just go right ahead and ember it down. That should get us level 11 pretty easily. Alright, down goes the, first, the second Caterpie. Alright, so level 11... Okay. All right, cool. Another metapod, so... Uh, how much experience does Gloria need? 77. Yeah, might as well. And we'll just go for some tackles and hopefully be able to kill it pretty easily. Oh yeah, this should be no problem. Hopefully this will give us a decent amount of experience for these two. Alright, one more tackle and we've got it beaten. Unless you do that. Oh, only 25. Ouch. Oh, wrong button. So what I'm going to do quick... Is I'm going to get Gloria up a level. So that way we have Gust. Oof. And there's a crit. Awesome. Alright. One more battle. Dang, glory putting in the work. Awesome. So there's Gloria's level up. And now we know Gust. George is about to hit level 8, which is good. Yeah, that super effective crit. Alright, George up to level 8. Back to Gloria. Ooh, perfect. A miss on the switch in. Oh, 
Ooh, we didn't get the one shot. All right. Metapod, so we'll go back to George again. <sighs> do, 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 do. Wow, that one did not do a whole lot. This Metapod is tanky. Alright, and down goes the final one. Gloria up to 10, which is awesome. I think we get Whirlwind at 12. Alright, come on, Metapod. Nope, okay. Level 5 at least. Alright. We'll just go for the quick Ember. Oh, hit the wrong button. Oh. Oh, and there it is. We finally got poisoned. I'm not too worried about it, though. So we're set there. Good to go. I think this one's another potion. Sweet. And I believe this is the last trainer. Alright. I think he just is like a level 9 Caterpie or something. Level 9 Weedle. Oh, man. So we'll go right to Burns. We're gonna try and one shot it. Alright. Don't get poisoned. Don't get poisoned. Ah, oh, thank you. Alright. So down goes that Weedle. So this is still Route 2, so we don't get another encounter here. Alright, we'll go heal up. Alright, so I think Brock's Pokemon are 9 and 12, or 10 and 13, something like that. So it shouldn't be too difficult. I want to get George up to level 9, so that way we only have to get one level off of the trainer before Brock. And then we'll go take him on, and should be a pretty quick win. There we go. Alright, 
All right, another Pidgey. <laughs> Can Metapod get the one shot? Nope. It does, however, get us up to nine. So I'm still not sure how I'm going to take on the second gym. I'm thinking what I'm going to need to do is go to the north of Cerulean City and hope to God that I get either a Bellsprout or an Oddish encounter. Because I think that's really the only way that I can pull that off. Ooh, don't get poisoned here. And George is the man just hanging in there. Alright. We're going to go try and take down that first trainer. I don't think it'll be too difficult. I think that between my three I can definitely succeed. I have no idea how effective they're going to be until I get that Confusion, because I think Confusion hits for neutral, whereas I think everything else is pretty much not very effective. I'm going to go stock up on some potions quick, though. There we go. Alright, here we go. Hopefully we don't lose anyone in this first battle. Looks like I'm already over 20 minutes, so... We might just end it after this guy. Alright, so I think he's got two. One's a Sandshrew and a Judude, I think. Of course George misses. Why wouldn't he? Oh, Lord. He ain't playing. Alright, we're in a hard switch out to Gloria. Ouch. Alright, so we got one sand attack up. Oh, that crit mattered. Alright, please don't kill. Thank the Lord. Oh good, now he's going to just boost his defense. That's that's wonderful. Alright, so we got three up. And six. Okay, let's see what Gus does. Hopefully something. Oof. That's again not going to be a very easy way to take him down. I think Gus is going to be... Oh, God, that's awful. Alright, let's hope his special defense isn't very high. Of course he somehow just connects. Alright. Come on, Burns, you can do it. He 
know, if we just overlevel burns, I think we can take out Brock. Oh, there's the burn. So we'll change out to George. <sighs> we'll just go for Ember right away. We're not even going to waste time with the... Come on, get a burn right here. That'll do. Ooh. Uh, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to go ahead and use a potion. In the event that I miss, which has been happening far too frequently. And now that. Ooh, and there it is. So we got the first trainer down. Burns is up to 12. I think we're still going to have to go and train up a little bit more. But we got the first trainer down, so that's a plus. We still haven't lost any of our Pokemon. We've made it through a rival, two rival battles, uh, the entire Viridian Forest, and now the first trainer of the gym, and really have had not many issues. I'm really worried about Brock's Onyx, that's for sure. I don't remember if he has Rock Tomb in this generation. If he does, that's going to be absolutely terrible because we can't use Gloria for really anything because all he has to do is hit her once and she's done. If we could get Sleep Powder, which I believe comes in at 14... That might do it, but I, I don't I really don't want to grind that far. Ooh, we're almost to ten though, so that's good. Alright, I think I'm just gonna do another 30 minute episode just so that we can grind up a little bit more. And of course, as soon as I start recording, my cat wants attention, my phone keeps ringing. Gosh. People can't call me when I'm not doing anything, they have to wait till I'm in the middle of stuff. Alright, so down goes that Caterpie. Should be one more. Come on, level five something. Hey, that works. Return of the Rattata. Ooh, this is about to get dangerous. There we go. There's the crit. And come on. Boom, level 10. So that's going to be our Butterfree right there. Alright, so now, again, the, the big hope here is that Brock does not have uh, Rock Tomb, which I'm going to actually look that up while this is happening. He does no rock to him. That is not good. What level does Charmander learn smoke screen? Smoke screen at 13. We're probably gonna have to do that. Cause that rock tomb is gonna just destroy us otherwise.
All right. Oh, wrong button. All right. Hopefully, Charmander doesn't have a whole lot higher to go. Oh, it's at the full bar. Okay. So I'm a little over my time that I wanted to stick to. But we're going to just get Charmander to 13 quick. Hopefully we can get some level 5s pretty quick. Oh, wrong one. Hey, that works. Come on. There's another one. We are so close. And then we'll start the next episode by fighting Brock. Oh my lord, this takes so long. Come on, level 5 Weedle or something. Level 2. Okay, cool. Alright, so that's a bulky one. Come on, we are so close. I'm going to just go to Verdian Forest. I think we can get better encounters there. Come on, level 5, Kakuna. Level 5, Kakuna. Right here. Come on. Help me out. Charmander is pretty much the hardest one to start with because he has nothing he can really do against the first gym. The second gym he's super weak against. Third gym I think he's okay with, but it's really not till the fourth gym that he sees his time to shine. There we go. There, finally, level 13 and Metal Claw. Wait a minute. I thought... Hold on. It... What? What? Oh! I was looking at Ruby and Sapphire. In Ruby and Sapphire, he learns Smokescreen at 13. He learns Smokescreen at 19. Is Metal Claw strong against Crown?
All right, so Rock is weak to it, so we might be able to get through. They might have made this easier for Charmander in this gen. So that's even better. But I'm going to go to the Poke Center. We're going to heal up quick, and then I'm going to end the recording here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, somehow we haven't lost anyone yet, which is amazing because my luck is normally terrible. Uh, hopefully you guys will join me on the next one as well. Uh, I'm going to try and upload like every other day or so. I might do every day for a little while if I have the time. Um, otherwise, we'll shoot for about every other day. So thanks again for watching, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Peace.